It's a representative group or organization. Five minutes. You got three minutes. Go ahead, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Monday morning and when I get up about this ethics, what's going on out and you know, city without limits. My quest, first question is, I read uh, the article a couple of weeks ago about the ethics board. Are we going to be filling the ethics board? In other words, when uh, the employees, when them can I be a member of the ethics board? So, because I'm asking city council to reconvene the ethics board. <laughs> Because if I remember on city council when Bully was there, I think Bully was it for personnel code, where the personnel code said people should be hired from the merit, the merit system. We just can't run the right click of jobs. And that's what's happening here. <laughs> After Red Blog on Monday, we have a candidate that has someone acting on his behalf, promising people jobs that they drop out as a candidate for mayor. <clears throat> and I think of this. You know who that is. The writer on the blog that said it's accurate. I think city council has to call a meeting on the ethics board. And this is in the right that people can go out and promise jobs that they drop out, of, city jobs that they drop out of the race for mayor. So one of our candidates, the incumbent, can get a real language. In other words, not the incumbent, one of the candidates can, can, get, can get elected. It's not fair. Because if we're supposed to hire through, the, through a merit system, I don't think it means hire through the political. Session. Mr. Chairman, I ask you to look into this through the ethics board. Council to look into this, or maybe council can have a special meeting on this. Or is this a violation of the law? I don't know. Well, so. uh, to answer your question, so, someone would have to bring a complaint forth. Okay, and let's, uh, if, if you're willing to bring a complaint forth, then that would go to the ethics board. Mr. Holbrook, I know the ethics board works because I was telling you. Yeah, but Mr. Holbrook, do you want to clarify? I question the mayor on the home at the expense in this house and my written notes. And I know how that works. Mr. Hammond, Hammond, I went to Mr. Hammond. But uh, I think what's happening is when we can have political campaigns promising people to opt for the or any of the candidates that need to be elected. But I think something has to be done to stop this kind of act. So I'm asking the city council. Is there a complaint before the ethics board now? Did somebody file something that's in the bill? But I was also going to talk about, as you know, when I was a city council, I always, I always made sure the fire department was well equipped that we had a steady uh, purchase of equipment so we don't have problems. I read on the blog also about uh, director is not here <clears throat> on that bond issue the question raised on the bond issue was there a savings and how much were the savings on the bond issue how was it and how was the rate and maybe mr uh, mr greedy at, the, at his finance committee meeting can bring all this up and that's the public you know there's a meeting next week with the budget a meeting next week the budget and finance and that could be addressed there uh, mr chairman i think it's a serious for me that candidates go around to see you at i mean somebody acted act in her behalf is promising job i think that it's not the way we should do it. So I, I, in a city without limits, we shouldn't be doing it. Well, I, 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 don't, I don't want to respond because I'm also a candidate you know, for the mayorship. So I, 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 I don't want to respond. You promise me a job. Thank you, Mr. Richmond. <laughs> oh, sir, how are you? Maybe an answer for the record, please. Keith Pierce, I live at 2514 South 6th Street. I'm um, with the uh, International Association of Firefighters, Local 302. I'm the liaison to the safety committee. Yes, sir. Uh, just got a couple of slides that I'd like to talk about uh, addition material, manning, and funding uh, of the fire department. Mr. Harris, you represent the organization. Please give, please give the gentleman five minutes. Uh, Mr. President, uh, members of the council, I appreciate the opportunity to speak tonight. My name is Keith Pierce, and I am the safety representative for. AFD, which means we deal with all the issues uh, pertaining to safety, job-related safety, uh, material-related safety, uh, anything safety-related on the fire department. 
And in my opinion, after doing this job for five years as, as a safety committee member, I feel like we are in a crisis uh, due to shortfalls of resources, uh, to put it bluntly. And if you look at uh, our resourcing over the last 20 years, we are essentially returning to uh, a material condition that we were at about nine years ago that had direct uh, impact on the loss of five homes. And I'll talk more specifically about that in just a minute. Uh, and the shortfalls uh, are noteworthy because the fire department is a group of can-do individuals. <clears throat> we go out the door when people are having their worst day to help them get through it. And that means uh, we don't really know how to quit and we don't really know how to say we're not going to help with that because you never know what you're going to show up to. So when you're dealing with a resource shortfall, then there's only a couple of ways to get through that. One is for the individual firefighter to bear that risk on his own shoulders and make critical decisions or committing 